Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I am going to be showing you how you can put your Unity WebGL game up on GitHub so you can get a URL, share it with people, and play it in the browser. So let's get right into it. So in Unity, we're going to click on File, then we're going to go to Build Settings. Then, if you're not already switched to WebGL, you need to click on WebGL and click on Switch Platform. This may take a moment. After that, we're going to click on Build. Then we're going to right click and make a folder, let's call it git test. Then we're going to click on that, click select folder and build our WebGL game. This may take a moment. After that, check out your folder, we've got our project in there. Next you need to go to github.com, if you don't have an account you'll need to make one, but once you've made an account, we can click on this new button, we're going to be making a repository, and we can upload our files to the repository, then make a GitHub page, and then play our game on the web browser. So, we don't need a template, and the name's going to be WebGL Test Git. We don't need a description. To use GitHub pages to host our game, we need to make this a public repo. If you make this a private repo, you're going to need to pay a monthly subscription, to be able to host your WebGL game. So it needs to be set to public. We don't need a README, we don't need to git ignore, and we don't need a license for this tutorial. Then we need to click on create repository. And our repository has been created. So, if you want to, you can hook this up to your version control software like GitHub Desktop or Source Tree or whatever. However, we can actually upload the files in the web browser. So, here we can click on upload an existing file you'll be presented with this page. Get your Windows File Explorer up and drag all of the files for your Unity WebGL build that are in your build folder, drag to select them all, and drag and drop them into this little upload box. And you can do a commit change if you want to. So I'll type in added game. You need to wait for all the files to upload. This will vary depending on your internet and how big your game is. Since my game is quite small, it will not take very long. After that, we do commit changes. It may take a while to process. After that, we're going to go to our settings. When we're in settings, we're going to go down to pages. Make sure deploy from branch is the option selected for the source. For the branch, uh, click on the none, and then select the branch your WebGL game is stored in. Since we only have one branch, we're going to do main. Make sure root is the root directory, then click save. After you click save, you're going to want to wait a moment. Lastly, after you've waited a while, my project took about two minutes before it went live, open up another tab, and in the URL, what you want to do is you want to do https colon slash slash your GitHub username, so mine is maxodiddly, then you do dot github dot io slash then the name of your repo. So our repo was called WebGL Test Git, so that's what we're going to put in that section. It'll be in the description below so you can like copy and paste it and easily swap out the values. Then you hit enter, and look, our Unity WebGL game is here. You turned into a big time villain, doctor. My WebGL project was literally just a, a little video player. Anyway, thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Unity tutorials. Thanks for watching!